Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brandy Morgan and we talk about all things freelance, working remote, personal branding, and creating the life that you want outside of the normal nine to five job. If you wanna be a part of this freelance family, make sure to hit that subscribe button now. And of course, please give this video a thumbs up so I know you like this type of content and I can keep creating it for you. Today's video is a little more laid back and it'll be mostly a screencast of my screen because I'm going to be going over the top 10 or my top 10 places to learn how to code and make sure you pay attention to the order. And if you're like, I don't want to watch your video, I just want them, they're in the description, links to all of them if you want to copy them. But the key is the order that I put them in. I put them in the order from free to paid the reason why I do that is if you are somebody that's new to coding and you've never done it before, utilize your free options first to see if you like it. And the first free option that I give you, which is Code Academy, is an amazing place to get started. It's where I got started. So the first six that I'm going to be going over with you are six that I have used. And the last ones I have not necessarily used for coding. Um, but I know that they are good resources. I asked people on my Instagram, you know, where they were learning to code, what were their resources, and so these were the top ones that they gave me. So I went through them, they are good, but I'm gonna repeat it again. Make sure you utilize your free options first. Start with stuff that's available and it's free, especially if you are new to coding. Why? Because the later ones that I mentioned, things like Udemy and Coursera, you may not know where to start. And there's so many different types of coding and computer programming out there that it makes more sense to get started with a free tool that can give you insights into the different, the different languages, the different frameworks, the different types of programming and coding that are out there to see what you like best before jumping in to the more paid structured courses. I hope that makes sense. Let's get into it. Right, here is the Code Academy website, and this is the first place I learned to program. It looks very different because this was six plus years ago, but you get the idea and the feel for the site. If you click over here on pricing, you will notice that they have a basic plan, which is zero dollars. This is one that I did. You still get access to a ton of courses and the basics of programming, especially if you're not sure on what you want to do or what type of programming you want to get into. Then they have the catalog, which shows the different types of courses that are available on Code Academy. We have teamtreehouse.com. This is really a great place to get started because they have a thing called Tech Degrees, which literally brings you through an entire program um, to get you into the real world. Like right here says real world projects. Um, fun fact, I actually built a course for Team Treehouse back Four years ago was the React Native course, it's no longer up here, um, but they do have great content. Um, I used to have a membership here, it's $14.99 a month, um, but they do give you a free seven days. So I highly recommend checking out teamtreehouse.com if you are interested or you're curious about getting into programming design. Um, you have a free week, so why not sign up? my favorite so this is Khan Academy and you may not be aware that this exists this is totally free if you click on the courses you can see they have a ton of stuff so depending on what age you are you can go through these different levels and even get ready for different grades but they have an entire section on computing so this would be what we are interested in so we wanna to go to see all computing. This is where you can see different areas of expertise that they have that they're sharing. 
Um, you would probably want to get into either computer science if that's what you're interested in um, or computer programming itself. When I was on this site, I um, was on the computer programming because I was interested in JavaScript, HTML, CSS, um, making websites. So right here um, would be where you would want to go. And all of this, like I said, is free at conacademy.org. Once again, all links will be in the description. Now, we could not talk about free things if we did not go to free code camp. So free code camp is 100% free and they have a ton of different programs. And if you are somebody that's trying to make a career in freelancing for the web, I 100% recommend this. They bring you through all the basics. When I was actually in college, in school, going for web dev and design, I did this on the side and it 100% made me a better coder and a better web developer and designer because these are things that you may not get when you go to a normal school. So do not get the debt. Look at these free options that you have on the internet if you are interested in making money online through programming. Next one is egghead.io, and oh my gosh, I use this site all the time when I was in school. They have amazing tutorials, like real life interactive things that you can build, and this has changed a lot since I've been in this. Um, and I believe that they have free options and they also have paid courses on here. It really just depends on what you're getting into and what you're trying to learn, but you can take a look to see, here's this course you go through, it lets you know how long it's gonna take. You have whew, a ton of stuff. So if you wanted to get into this, Here you go. So what you're gonna need to do is create an account here um, to get access to, because I believe some of them end up being locked. But this is egghead.io, 100%. Um, the people over at Egghead do an amazing job on their courses and their actual real life content to get you ready for the real world of coding. Now, lynda.com, um, which got bought by LinkedIn a couple years ago, I used to use this when I was in school, not necessarily for web development, but they do have a crazy amount of courses, literally from everything from starting a business to programming. Look at all of these right now that they have available. Um, they offer you a free month, um, and then they're gonna start charging you after that. So if you want to get started on here, um, the thing about sites like Linda is you have to be careful to weed through the different courses because you can see there's 600 courses. If you are just starting off, I would recommend starting off in something like Treehouse um, and Code Academy first before jumping into a lynda.com. Because lynda.com, there's a ton of different courses, which are great, but you have to weed through to see which ones are really for you and which ones are your style. Where I think um, something like a Team Treehouse, they already have them planned out for you and it's a very streamlined learning. The next one, this guy's one of my favorites. We have Code with Mosh. So I actually met him, I think last year, we did a Microsoft video together. And he's a really great guy. And his courses are phenomenal. And the beautiful thing about Code with Mosh is he has a lot of this stuff up on his YouTube. So you can go and get a feel for his type of content on YouTube first before even coming into his courses. The nice thing is about his courses is you can get 30, so all 30 of them for $19 a month. And you also get access to the community. And that's a huge, huge part. I believe Treehouse also has a community associated with their purchasing um, of a plan. 
Um, but Code with Mosh, there's a ton of content in here. Um, anything you could really want to do when it comes to programming on the web, this would be the place where you would want to stop by and take a look. And I know you can buy one-off courses for his as well, but like I said, check out his YouTube channel first so you can get his style of teaching and see if you like it or not. All right, now we're getting into stuff that I have not personally used, but they come recommended and I know people that either work at these companies, meaning they've used the courses and they've, they've helped build this, so it's, it's good quality. So Coursera is one that came highly recommended from people on my Instagram when I asked what people were learning and where they were learning. Thing about Coursera is you do get certified here and you can get certified through real companies and real certificates. So the beautiful thing about this is you can come on here and explore different things. So if we were going into computer science, um, you could take a look at the different topics. I'm going to click JavaScript because that was, you know, my field, but they have a ton of different um, courses on here that can get you started. Coursera is something that you have to purchase. So once again, I recommend my earlier suggestions first to get started. But once you get started and you figure out maybe where you want to study, if that's web development, then it would be smart to go into something like Coursera and make the purchase. All right, Skillshare. Once again, I have never used Skillshare, but I know a lot of people who have used it. Once again, like I said in the past couple, utilize your free resources first before going on platforms like this that have tons of different content from tons of different people. You wanna make sure that you're getting, the, getting and utilizing the free stuff before you make a purchase on maybe a course that isn't the best, but you can get started here. They, it looks like they have free options. It's gonna have you sign in. So make sure you sign in, create an account, get access to your free stuff first. Do that before making a purchase. Lastly, we have Udemy. So once again, last resort would be Udemy. And I actually have courses on Udemy myself, so it's not saying they're bad. But the problem is, is if I were to type in web development, there are going to be so many courses that pop up and you, the person that probably doesn't have a ton of experience, you're not gonna know which one is right for you. So my recommendation before you go to the Udemy's and the Skillshare's and the Coursera's is try out the free content first. Try out your free seven days on Treehouse. Go through Codecademy, you can wet your whistle with Codecademy and really get started on learning the basics of these different languages and you get a feel before you start going into these paid for program. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want the list of those 10 resources, they are in my description. Also links to my own personal courses are linked in the description. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So I know that you like this content. And of course, if you have any free resources, put them in the comments so other people can see them. I may not know all the stuff that's out there, but these are ones that have helped me get to where I am. So I, of course, want to give you guys those same tools. And I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next week. Bye.